I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day all. Well, it's uh, later in the afternoon. Still is the 26th of, uh, of August. Um, the old lawnmower's not been working for a while, you know. That thing out there. The, um, the bearings went. And to show you what I mean, here's the bearing. All right, you can imagine this thing spinning around. As you can see, it's somewhat off-center. Okay. Um, reason that happened is the blade, perhaps it's not that one. it's this one, as you can see the blade there is actually quite bent, it's pointing downwards, okay, and because the blade's bent it caused a vibration on high revs, it just tore the bearing to shreds, that wear and tear and it's just bloody old, so those are the old blades, so I uh, decided to get some new ones. What a difference, eh? Hey? Okay, so those are the new blades that are going on. And now these here, we have the options of getting some new, you know, running bearings. Um, there's two on each one of them. That one there is off of that one there. If you can imagine that goes on there, that goes on there, and that's a pressure plate, and then you have this this end cap that goes over the end of the other bearing. Anyway, and they look like that. So, um, I had the option of getting two $20 bearings each for about 40 bucks, plus the time it would have taken them to press on a new one and fit the old one and all the rest of it, or press off the old ones and put on the new. Or, um, I looked on Trade Me, they were around $109 each for the part I needed. The part I needed is that part right there. It's called a spindle assembly. And it looks like this. Nice and new. Okay, complete unit. Everything spunky dory, and I got two of them. Seventy-eight dollars each, straight from the um, lawnmower shop. So it's not always cheaper to go on to trade me to buy stuff because these were thirty dollars dearer on trade me. So I got these from the local um, Kumu lawnmower or Huafai lawnmower chain shop. Get their um, name. Who are they here? These guys here. Kumu Chainsaw and Mowish Services. Okay, these are the guys here that I go to. They absolutely rock. I highly recommend them. Okay, and John is the guy I dealt with again today. But I was also dealing with, uh, I think, Fred was the other guy, elderly gentleman. Both very, you know, dang on guys. Now I had one of these things, the um, the blade drive unit or whatever you want to call it that was actually stuck on this old one here they charged me $15 to take that off fair enough it needed a bit of heat nothing I did was getting that off of there and to buy the other one it would have cost more than 20 bucks so yeah so we paid 15 to get that removed 156 for the two of those puppies and $33 for the blades so all up uh, $33 each for the blades so that's 66 so all up $260 and that's got me a whole new set of running gear all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit all of the new bits and I even bought new bolts because you can see from the old bolts they all snapped all the heads snapped off as I um as I undid them absolute shit old old bolts all right so it's going to be like a new lawnmower when I'm done and she's going to hum I've just cleaned out all of this yes I will fix up that hole I've rebuilt the whole inside of that this huge hole here was there but I've, I think I've showed other videos how I've repaired that but anyway it's a hell of a lot better than it used to be um, cool I'm gonna slap it together and see how we get on um, and with the magic of, uh, of high-speed filming um, I might just leave this running and you guys can all watch as I do it
All right. So, people, here we have it all with both blades fitted. Okay, ready to rock. So next up is fitting the, um, the drive pulleys on the other side, which we'll do in a second. We'll just drop this down here. Just bear with me for a second. So as you can see, we've just got these two drive pulleys to go. We've got these cogs that just fit on. Make it a lot easier to put them all that way. It just sits on there. fit them. So out here and we'll just put the um, the cutting deck back on. Hopefully all will go well. this tricky spring that always gets me you gotta love if you guys remember rightly That's the retention spring on. Let's give her a spin. Good luck. 